Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to discuss circumference. And circumference is the distance around a circle. And as you can see at the top of your screen in white, we have two formulas we can use. We can use 2 times pi times r, which that r stands for radius, or we can do pi times d, and that d stands for diameter. And again, circumference is the distance around the outside of a circle, so the perimeter of a circle. And as you can see on your screen, we have four problems, so we're going to find the circumference for those four circles. Now I want to back up a second here to the formulas, and we have this little symbol we mentioned that uh, that's the symbol for pi. Now pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to get into further detail about pi. There's great articles and websites and YouTube videos that you can learn more about pi, but for now we're just going to focus on calculating circumference. Now pi is a very long decimal so there should be a button on your calculator that you can use to calculate circumference as we're going through these problems or it is common since pi is a very long decimal some people use the round rounded shortened version of 3 and 14 hundredths. Again it's typical and common to use that or use the button on a calculator. So let's get back to the circumference here and like I mentioned earlier we have four circles or four problems on your screen that we are going to find the circumference for so let's jump right in to number one. So for number one here we have a circle with a radius of six inches and the first thing we want to do it's always good habit to write out your formula first. So we have circumference equals two times pi and we are given the radius so I'm going to use the radius formula. Then let's plug in our radius so 2 times pi times our radius of 6. Then we calculate and once we punch it in to our calculator uh, we should get 37 and you're going to get a pretty long decimal there so I rounded to the hundredths place 70 hundredths and our unit of measure is inches. Now one thing I do want to mention you can use either of these formulas 2 pi r or pi d for any problem because if you're given a radius you can find the diameter you just double the radius right it's six inches halfway across this circle so all the way across the diameter would be 12 inches so you could do pi times 12 and it would give you that same answer or if you're given a diameter you can have it cut it in half and you would have the radius and you could use the 2 pi r so both formulas are essentially the same thing just depends if you use the radius or diameter so let's go to number two here. Circumference equals, they give us the diameter, so let's use pi times diameter. Next step, let's plug in. We have pi times a diameter of 10 centimeters. Then we calculate, and we get an answer of 31 and 46 hundredths centimeters. Again, this one gave a long decimal, so I rounded to the hundredths place. Number three, we are given the diameter, so let's use circumference equals pi d, or pi times diameter. We'll plug in the diameter, so pi times 15, and then calculate, and we get an answer of 47 and 12 hundredths and this is feet. Again just to recap circumference is the distance around a circle so the perimeter so if I were to trace or go around I'm not drawing a perfect circle here 
but go around that circle, it's the distance around would be 47 and 12 hundredths feet. Number four, let's start with the um, formula. So circumference equals two times pi times the radius. Then we plug in the radius of four inches, so two times pi times the four inch radius. And we calculate and we get an answer of 25 and 13 hundredths, and this is inches, so inches. So there you have it. That's how you calculate circumference. You have two formulas to use there. You can use the radius or diameter, two times pi times the radius, or pi times the diameter. Hopefully that was helpful. Until next time, peace.